Hi guys, we Bob here, and in this video I am going to show you in Sketchbook Pro how to measure in perspective. In this case I'm looking at the Sulaco spaceship from Aliens. So in Sketchbook Pro we start off by setting up a perspective. In this case it's a one point perspective. And I'm going to set my guide, unlock it, pull it off to the left, and then I'm going to lock the guide. Because if you don't, you can sometimes move it by accident, which will ruin your image pretty much. Then I just drew a cube um, as it would look on a 2D piece of paper in 3D space using those perspective guides. So if I pause it just now, the next part is the ruler. And you take the ruler and I'll play again and you move the ruler from point to point or corner to corner and you draw a line between those corners. So if this is the side of the ship, drawing from that corner to that corner and then top to the bottom corner. Now the point at which those two lines cross is the center point within a perspective space. I'll explain that a wee bit better in a minute when you see the 2D image of the Sulaco which is here. So the 2D image of the Sulaco is here, I got it online and I'm putting a line at the front and the back and I'm drawing a box. Now I could have went closer with the top and bottom line but I'm doing exactly the same thing here, corner to corner, corner to corner and a line down the middle which tells me where the middle of the ship is. I then guesstimated the, qu the quarters but in perspective mode I do actually measure them in the same way I've done the first one. So I do corner to corner, corner to corner, line in the middle, up and down. So that's my first quarter which is the kind of thruster engine part of the ship. I've then got the second quarter which is the kind of gun handle part if you want to call it that. And then I'm doing the part same for the front. Um, at this point I've got my grid and I started sketching in those features. So looking at the drawing that I've got in 2D and looking at the measurements and just kind of guesstimating, this wasn't going to be a super accurate drawing. I just wanted to get an idea of how did the back of the spaceship kind of disappear into kind of a 3D space and it makes it look like the ship's coming towards you. I wasn't going for an exact replica of the Sulaco, but you can actually use this technique to measure. You can use it by doing like a unit measurement of a particular feature and then measuring off it, but that could take you hours to do. This was just me wanting to get a good feel, something that looked somewhat correct in 3D space, and I hope it's been helpful to you. So then I just started sketching in all the features, the, the big kind of aerial sticky out parts at the front came out to the front point of my grid, and then I just started messing around with the drawing in all honesty to see what I thought. But the gun placement, this big kind of arm on the side, I was still doing my 2D reference back and forward to see where it went to in comparison to the other features of the of the ship. And then I just wanted to kind of put it in 3D space using kind of light colours on the left, darker colour coming towards us to give it that kind of 3D shape as well. So I'm going to let it play out. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll just leave you with the music and I hope you have got something valuable from this tutorial. If you do, please remember to like, subscribe and hit the wee bell notification as it really helps my channel. And if you've got something that you want me to look at, I'm going to be doing the mobile app soon and I would love it if you guys would leave a comment and let me know what you think. Cheers and wee Bob is out. Bye.